pulling an all-nighter at 5 o'clock this morning. State lawmakers passed the 2025 state budget, and the city of Lansing is getting a pretty big piece of that budget pie. Millions of dollars are set aside to improve local landmarks and establish a new elections building. News 10's Riley Connell joins us in studio with the details. Yeah, Anna and David, well, city and county employees woke up this morning to realize that their pleas for funding had finally been answered. Jackson Field, Potter Park Zoo, and one of the Lansing elections offices are all getting a chunk of change to make what they tell me are pretty necessary improvements. It's so exciting. This is such a monumental uh, impact that it'll make on not only the community, but our animals and really everyone here and everyone who supports the zoo. Staff at Potter Park Zoo weren't expecting to make the cut in the Michigan Legislature's 2025 budget, let alone receive $10 million in funding. Now, they say they can restore animal habitats and make the zoo more accessible to visitors with disabilities. It's going to work on accessible viewing inside and out of the building, as well as an accessible entrance uh, for that feline and primate building. Fans and players of the Lansing Lugnuts will also see the benefits of state funding next year with $1 million for Jackson Field improvements. Uh, we have to extend the nets to the, to the end of the poles. We have things with locker rooms. And Thankful for the state's help, Mayor Andy Shore says it's benefiting more than just amenities. A lot of the investments that we have made as a city and that the legislature has been willing to make are really bearing fruit. They're seeing, you know, again, places for people to live as, as we get 1,700 jobs at Ultium. Voting is not, not just one day, it's a month-long process. A process that's become expensive to maintain in the Lansing Elections Office. Chief Deputy Clerk Brian Jackson says funding from the state means improving the early voting experience. So right now we are renting uh, you know, Rio uh, old elementary school that really isn't geared toward what, what we really need it to be to best utilize uh, for, for running elections. A Lansing's elections office wasn't the only mid-Michigan department to receive some of that funding. The city of East Lansing is also receiving some of that funding to make improvements of their own. The two offices will share a $4 million budget with clerks in Ann Arbor and Grand Rapids. And Thank you, Riley. The legislature's complete budget will put $83 billion into programs for infrastructure, education, housing, and more. An update on the debt.